Hey guys, and welcome to the Chopper Day Show with your host, me, Chopper Day. This is episode 3 of Series 8. Alright, so, um, I've actually got a lot of stuff to actually show you, so let's kick off right to it then. First off is a band which, um, uh, they're local, um, I'm actually really good friends with um, three members of the band, and, uh, well, actually, I should say the original members of the band because they're all still together, apart from, like, a um, couple of members which actually, like, they're replaced and everything, but, um, I got, and the bar I'm, of course, talking about the band, Frankie and the Hot Strings, and this is their second album, um, The Deers Run Away, and, um, Yep, I actually did get it signed um, by the the guitarist and the lead singer, Frankie, which I'm actually really great friends with. I'm really great friends with Frankie. Alright, next is a band um, which, um, honestly enough, the reason... Well, how I got into this band is because of um, the video game Guitar Hero. Does anybody remember that? I'm talking about Guitar Hero 3, I think it was, yeah, which had one of the songs from this um, band, and it's the band Mott the Hoople, and this is the collection, uh, which has, like, um, all their best um, songs which are on here. I probably might end up getting um, more of their albums um, later on. Alright. Next, I got two albums by this band, and uh, honestly enough, I, honest to God, one of my favourite rock bands um, to come out in um, here, right, so, um, so the two albums, that the band that which I got is Queen, and I got their album Innuendo, which is um, that one there, Innuendo. And the miracle, as well. And it was actually thanks to my granddad, like um, for getting us into that band. He was the one that actually got me into the other um, nineteen seventies, eighties, and sixties. Well, eighties, my mum got us into, but me six, the sixties and the seventies, my granddad got us into. All right, right. Next up is a band which they. Lead singer actually um, died, R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, but I decided to get the um, the best of um, album of this one, and it's the Cranberries, and this is their album Dream. Um, but it dreams, but it's the collection which has all their best known albums. Well, sorry, all their best known songs on here, well, the best songs. And um, honestly, not my. Um, yeah, that's actually really good. Alright, next we're getting on to the movies now. So I've got a lot here, to be honest with you. Um, first off, I got 10,000 BC. I've been hearing them a lot of 50-50 um, things about it. So some good and some bad. Alright, next I got... Austin Powers go member. Yeah, I've got the third. Yeah, this is the third film, but but anyway, it's go member. It's Austin Powers. It's meant to be like um, a spin off of um, James Bond. All right, next is a movie which I got um, given to me um, from the football team that I'm actually in. Yeah, I'm in a football team called WSI Warriors, and. Um, the manager actually sold me this, and um, honestly enough, I can't thank him enough for this. Now I actually want to get the second one M as well, because the set one, set one's brilliant. So he gave me Bad Boys. He gave me the first one. Bad Boys, what you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah. So all I got to see it. Alright, next I got the sequel to um, a one which I've already got. One which I've already got, and um, this is the sequel following up um, from Dead Rising Watchtower. I got Dead Rising Endgame. Yep, um, Dead Rising, um, the films, um, they're like in the middle, they're like um, set um, after um, 
Dev Ryzen, but they're set before. But this is actually meant to be set before. Well, so is Watchtower. Set before, um, I think it's Dev Ryzen Case Zero. I think it's like meant to be set in between that. So it's like after Dev Ryzen, but before Dev Ryzen Case 2, Case Zero. Anyway, alright, next I got a um, film which actually is not that good. I've actually recently watched it. I've recently watched it and um, it's. I can see why people didn't even like it, but I, but I got it to, um, to complete the collection. Despicable Me 3. Yep, yep. I still prefer the first two Despicable Me's um, compared to this one. I mean, this one's okay, but it's not actually the best ones. Well, it's not the best one. Minions is the... didn't do so well. Alright, next I got um, a TV show, which um, which was, um, this person was in it, like, after David Tennant. Um, so, yeah, so I got um, Doctor Who, um, which is um, Series 5, Volume 1, and um, Series 5, Volume 2. Yep, uh, Matt Smith was okay, well, at least he's better than the, um, than, than the other Doctor that we got. Uh, that that's just my own opinion though. That's just my own opinion. Alright, next I got Happy Fate 2. Yep. I've got the first one so I, so I had to get the sequel to complete the collection. Alright, next I got the film which I haven't seen yet, but I've heard it's actually really, really good. Maleficent. Yep. Based off um Sleeping Beauty, but um, it only takes on Maleficent's side of it. I mean, it still has that um, Sleeping Beauty thing in it, but still, it's Maleficent. And Angelina Jolie and as well. It's actually meant to be really, really great in that one. Alright, next, um, I got a classic and somewhat not really good film. My own opinion because it lacked down so much. But the first one is a classic. Men in Black. Yep, the first Men in Black film. Why is this Emma Classic? F Why I think this is Emma Classic for is because it's um it's it's just Men in Black. It's a phenomenal movie. It's a start off to um to a good series. Well that and the second one. I've got the second Men in Black. This actually lacked um, a lot of stuff in it compared to what Men in Black 3 had in it. Men in Black 3 totally destroyed this film. Like, honestly enough, Men in, if I got to say which is my favourite Men in Black film, it'll probably be Men in Black, it'll be Men in Black 3. But Men in Black 1 will always be a classic. Men in Black 2, have a, yeah, I can watch it to an extent, but... It's um, it's my own opinion. All right, next I got Mr. Porpoise Penguins. Um, the reason why I got this for is because I've been like um, watching clips of it, and um, it's it's an okay movie. And um, come on, it's Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, how could you not love Jim Carrey for that? But I will have to watch it fully to get to give my full opinion about it. All right, next um. Is a movie that um has been like um because one of my mates who I sit sit beside um at the Stadium of Light like when we're watching them um, football he mentioned this film and he mentioned the first one um as well he said oh you haven't got this film you haven't seen this film you actually need to get it I mean man's been um bragging about it them too she's been like saying oh you need to actually watch this film but I've only got the second one because it didn't have the first. Didn't have the first one like where I went. So I got National Treasure 2 Book Book of Secrets. Yeah, National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets. Yes, I need to get the first one and I need to watch it. But I haven't watched this one yet. When I get the first one, I will watch the both of them. Alright, next is a film which um, the sequel has just recently um, been announced. And the trailer has been released. I think it's actually in cinemas now. I don't know, but... I've got the first one. The first, I hear that the first one's not up. 
uh, pretty mediocre, so Pacific Rim. Yep, I have seen the trailer to the second one and it made me want to get the first one first before I actually watch the sequel. Alright, next I got a... Oh my god, this is a, this is a real treasure for me because um, the first three films of this um, TV series um, was, that, well, animated series was actually phenomenal and I really did like the first three films but the rest or however were sort of hit and miss but I got this one I got Pokemon 2000 yep Pokemon 2000 yep I still uh, when I was younger I used to love Pokemon I used to watch it all the time and I got the first movie and the first movie was brilliant Second movie, however, was brilliant then as well, but the third one, that was the best one. Alright, next is a film um, which has the phrase, I don't know who you are, but I will find you, and I will kill you. Come on, it's Liam Neeson. How could you not like him in Taken? Yes, I have seen this film, and... By God, the first Taken movie is brilliant. I need to watch the other ones in order to get my full opinion about the series. But I've heard the third one isn't actually good. I heard the third one was bad. Alright, next. Um, it's two films which I actually bashed on. I bashed on because... Um, oh well, because of... Um, like, it... Well, basically, I'm just going to say, because I saw the other trilogy first, and then I saw the first one of this, and then I judged it for being what it is, and I didn't even bother watching the second one, but I had to get them to complete the collection. But I will re-watch them again, and then, honestly enough, get my own opinion about it. I got The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Andrew Garfield, in my own opinion, this is just my own opinion to be honest with you, doesn't play a good Peter Parker, but he does play a good Spider-Man. I will honestly say he's a good Spider-Man. If you want a Peter Parker, you get Tobey Maguire. That's all I just got to say. But I've heard this one's actually bad. And this one, I'll have to re-watch it to get like yeah, my own opinion about it. So, yep, the amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Fine Man 2. Alright, next is what I thought was actually the final film to this collection, but apparently the the prequel has been released and I need to actually see it because I've heard it's really good. I got the Purge election year. Yep, and with the first Purge actually being released in cinemas recently, I need to watch it. I need because people have been saying Oh, it's a great film. But, will it be as good as The Purge Anarchy? Will it be as good as that? The Purge Election Year was actually... Was actually in the middle. The first pur the Purge movie, the first one. Not the first Purge, they had the, the first film that came out and The Purge. Not so good. Alright, next I got this one because um, I... Well, it's from one of my childhood, but um, but apparently this one will be a slightly better than the might be one that we actually got. Yeah, I got the animated version of t of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, I am a sucker for actually buying this, but I will watch it and I will judge it because I haven't seen it yet. But will it be as good as the might be movies? Because we all know how shitty them ones are. Thank you, Michael Beer. Alright, next. Alright, last out of the movies, which is the one which I've been told is phenomenal movie. Even though it, it's a kid's movie. Even though it's a kid's movie, but I've been told from people that it's actually phenomenal. It's actually really, really great. Trolls. Yep. Trolls, yeah. <laughs> People have been saying to me, it's actually a really good film. Even though it's a kid's movie, but it's actually really great. 
I mean, come on, Pokemon's having a kids' movie again as well, so I'll, but we all love that. All right, next is the games. Yep, I got a few games. Um, so just uh, uh the collection, but but these games I got because I because I really enjoy them. All right, so I've got Batman: Return to Arkham. Now, I didn't play it. Like when these came out for the Xbox 360, I didn't play um, Batman Arkham Asylum or Batman Arkham City, but I heard that they were absolutely phenomenal games. I'm, I think I'm half, I'm halfway through Batman Arkham Asylum, and I got to say, the people who actually, di the people who actually made this game, you are geniuses. This is how you actually do a really good Batman game. You want to know what a good Batman game is? You play at Arkham Asylum. And then you play at Arkham City, which is actually a great sequel to it. And then you got Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. People have been actually saying Batman Arkham Knight is actually not a very good Batman game. Because of, um, because of the new... Because of the Batmobile that is actually in it. But... I don't judge it because of the Batmobile that is actually in it. Yes, I might have played it M a little bit. And surprisingly enough, it's actually a decent game. It's not actually... It's not the, the worst one. People have been saying Batman Arkham Origins is bad. But Batman Arkham Knight wasn't even that bad either. Alright, next I got... Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yes, I've actually got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because I was um, a toss between, well, like making the choice to get either this one or Infinity War. Well, Infinite Warfare, sorry. But I made the decision and got this one because Infinite, War Infinite Warfare was actually too futuristic. It was too futuristic, and by God, you don't need that in the Call of Duty game. You don't need a Call of Duty game to be more futuristic. And I know Black Ops 4, and I know that one's actually going to be more futuristic M as well. It's going to continue along the lines of, like, from Black Ops 3, but, but, hey, I will get it if it's got zombies more on it. I do love the zombies that are in it. And plus, the zombies that are in this game are actually good, Em, as well. They're surprisingly really good. Considering now the fact is you have to buy DLC for it. That's um, that's that's the big thing. That's the barrier between it. It's the peer wall. Alright. Um, and last out the games, um, which I actually had the first one, but... The first one wasn't kind of like um, a a very good game, shall we just say. It wasn't a very decent game. So I got the sequel, and the sequel is actually a lot more better. Titanfall 2. Yep, I actually did get Titanfall. I've got Titanfall 2. And surprisingly enough, this one's actually a lot more better compared to the first one. They improved on it. Alright, guys. And last... Out the purchases, I got the new Sunderland shirt. I got it yesterday because it was the official launch day for it. Well, yeah, it was actually. But you could only get it if you were a season card order. And yes, I'm a season card order. So, yeah, here it is. That's the new Sunderland strip for you. Yep. And, um... The only thing that um, people are actually judging on it, well, I've saw somebody who's actually judged on it. I think it's called J James Ray or whatever they call it, but his YouTube channel is in the description down below. Sorry if I butchered your name there. But he actually looked at it, he reviewed it, and he actually said the only thing that he didn't like about it was the button that was actually on here. But other than that, he actually liked it, and I really did like them as well. So I looked at it and honest to god i really do enjoy it i'm i'm really going to enjoy wearing this for the new season and under new ownership 
of Stuart Donald Ham as well. He's an absolute legend. And I met him on that day Ram as well. I actually met the new owner of Sunderland. And by God, he's a nice guy. He's a really, really nice guy. Alright, that has been the end of the Chocolate Day show. Um, hope you've all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And... Peace!